All right. I, I came across this story. It is a, it is a really short story, but uh, this seems like something that's going to, that could be in like, uh, you know, some sort of like, I don't know, like true crime, like uh, Fargo type uh, show. Uh, Russian sausage king killed in sauna with a crossbow. A Russian oligarch nicknamed the Sausage King has been murdered with a crossbow, investigators say. Vladimir Marugov and his partner were in an outdoor sauna cabin when they were attacked, reportedly by two masked assailants. The woman managed to escape through the window and call the police. Detectives found the body of Mr. Marugov, who owns some of Russia's largest meat processing plants in the sauna with a crossbow next to it. Police have detained a male suspect in connection with the murder. The suspect has not been named. The attack happened at Mr. Margov's co- countryside estate about 25 miles outside the capital, Moscow, early on Monday morning. Uh, Russia's investigative committee, similar to the FBI in the U.S., reported. It did not name the man, but local media identified him as Mr. Margov, the owner of Ozzy and Meat Empire Sausage Factories. The intruders demanded cash from Mr. Margov before fleeing in a car, the investigative committee said. The getaway car was later recovered on the outskirts of the town of Istra outside Moscow. Mr. Margov's son, Alexander, died in a motorcycle accident in Moscow last year. So I don't know. I just, you don't hear a lot of stories of being people, you know, rich people being murdered with crossbows. Yeah, this yeah. is like that, that scene straight out of Game of Thrones where uh, Tyrion <laughs> kills his dad with yeah. a crossbow while he's making sausage. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think maybe this is like uh Russia's version of the Green Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I mean uh crossbow it's an interesting way to do it. Very uh outdoorsy. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it is more stealthy, you know. Yeah, I mean, really, it hits you. If you're close range, it's going to be oh, pr- yeah. pretty vicious. Yeah. And, and then, like, it's qu- relatively quiet, yeah. The crossbow Crossbow's killer. back on the menu. <laughs> like, like, they were illegal, like, in, like, was it, was it, like, the Renaissance or Medieval Times or something where, like, they just decided that they were too deadly, so they outlawed them in certain places? Oh, I thought maybe it was considered, like, the AK-47 of its time. Like, yeah. who needs to shoot that fast? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like, it's, it's, yeah. It's a killing yeah. machine. <laughs> Man, can you imagine like being in like you know revolutionary war times and having to, or civil war and like fucking having to kill people with a musket? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean. I've shot a musket, so I guess I could imagine. <laughs> well, but yeah, but look, like having to be all fast about it and like, you know, do that every time. Yeah. Is... You probably got to use your bayonet quite a bit still with a musket. Yeah, bayonet would not be a fun fight day. Yeah. You're in the shit at that But point. getting hit with a musket ball, that would fuck you up. Yeah. Mm. Well, what about just like those cannonballs that explode or something like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or even, just, can you imagine getting hit by a cannonball? <laughs> Yeah, it would be fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like fighting in cannonballs going by. You. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Didn't the Civil War, like that's the war that has killed, like, well, I guess it makes sense that it would kill the most Americans, but like, but it killed a shit ton of people. Like, I don't remember I don't the know stats the numbers, on it, but yeah. it's a lot. I mean, I think uh, nothing compares to like World War Two, though. Well, I guess if you count, yeah, the people killed by the A bombs, or even just the battle of like Stalingrad and stuff, they they sent millions of people in there to fight in the front lines. Yeah, I've been kind of wanting to to read a little bit more about that, but it's like, um, you know, World War Two, America came in at the end, and like Germany was defeated, and we're like, we did it, and then like really Russia did most of yeah. <laughs> most of it. They did some of the heavy lifting there. <laughs> I know uh, uh, Garth Ennis, the comic book writer, like he's really into World War II, so he like okay. writes a lot of World War II stories. 
And he's got this comic series called Battlefields where he just like tells, you know, they're, they're fictional stories, but based on like, you know, true right. things. And so like one of them is called The Night Witches and it's about like uh, Russia had these uh, women like fighter pilots basically. Okay. And they, they would just give them like, you know, shitty biplanes to go do runs Oh, they, they got like the, what the byproducts or like the, the farm <laughs> plane or something. But, but what they would do is they would basically, when they were coming in for a, a dive bomb, is they would like kill the engines. So they were like coming in silent. So they're just gliding in. And then, yeah, they would glide in and then like at a certain point, you know, turn the motor on and get the fuck out of there as fast as they could, you know, after they Jeez. did it. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's interesting. So you shut off the engines, you're glide in, and then like you drop your bombs, hit it, and fucking yeah, Jesus, I yeah, wouldn't trust it that's some well. brave shit in a fucking biplane, man. I haven't read it in a long time, but yeah, it was it was definitely interesting. 